All right, guys. Welcome back to what I'm hoping is the final episode of Season 1. This is Atlas Plays Minecraft Season 1, Episode 20. And uh, today we're going to be trying to finish up this trading hall, making it operational. And uh, so let's get started. The weather's turned on us. It's nighttime. Everybody's trying to shove themselves in somewhere for a bed. And this is a good time for us to just make sure that we actually have enough villagers or if we still need to get some more going so let's see here we got one guy right there now we got a baby in here the baby could find somewhere else to go I'm really loving this guy shove off baby all right let's see you're there An empty spot. This one has a baby in it again. Oops. Just, just come on over here, man. There's plenty of openness spaces. All right. So what are we looking at? We got one and all of those. Baby, somebody leave. Look, the baby really wants this spot, bud. There's one on the other side. I think that maybe we have enough. Which means that we just need... Oh, boy, where are you going now? <coughs> Look at this amazing pathfinding of his. His bed must be close to this corner. I'm going to put him in a boat. Okay, let's see. Wait. Oh, you heard me threaten to put you in a boat. Now you're ready? With your wild leopard print outfit here. Whatever. Okay. That's 20 villagers. As long as the babies grow up and they're not nitwits, we have enough villagers up here. That's excellent. Which means we can start working on getting their jobs very soon. Seriously, dude? All right, well, let's go down, get this guy a boat or something. What's up, my golems? Okay. The other thing that we will eventually want to do, and it's probably not, it's not something that has to be done right away, though. As soon as we want to start doing raids, then... We're gonna need to be a. We're gonna want to be able to turn off the golem killer so that we can use the golems to help defend the village. And so to do that, we we'll want dispensers. So that's why I was looking at dispensers earlier. Um, for dispensers, I think it's just cobblestone. Oh, what did I grab? That's not cobblestone. Is it? We only have 10 cobblestone? Yeah, it looks that way. That's all right. I mean, we got tons of stone that can turn into cobblestone. I think a dispenser is cobblestone, a bow, and one redstone dust. Right? Yep. Well, I only have one bow right now. We have strings, though. Yeah, okay. We can do this. All right, let's, let's figure this out. We don't need fences for a while. We 
done with signs for now. I think we don't need the sugar cane. Bone gets turned into bone meal, so that's going to go up there with the plants and trees. All right, paper. Jungly planks. And even though books doesn't make a lot of sense to have in the plants, we'll put it next to the paper. That'll be our justification for it. Seeds. Okay. We got here snow. We're done with snow for a little bit. Take this bow and a string. Got plenty of sticks, and we're gonna need this a cobblestone. Wonderful. All right, so. I think it doesn't like to use bows that are on your hot bar. Or maybe it doesn't like to use bows that are enchanted, and that is an enchanted bow. But I don't, it's not a very good enchanted bow. So we can just m make it manually. There we go. One dispenser. We're going to want three. So let's make three, bow three, three more. We're going to want four. So we'll make three bows. And yeah, it looks like if they're not enchanted bows, it will automatically use them. So one, two, three. And we had some buttons. Well, we have four buttons. That's a perfect number. But now that I think about it, we aren't going to want to set up the dispensers just yet because we don't have enough. We don't have enough uh, iron. Uh, look at this. Witnessing this epic battle between iron snow golems and zombies. <laughs> but snowballs barely do any damage. But they are pushing them back. Jackson, apparently, the, the zombies only have eyes for these snow bones. Uh-oh. One of them died. You guys shouldn't stand so close to the fence. Hucking snowballs. I don't know why they're not making snow when they move around. Which is unfortunate, because I'm going to run out of snow if they keep dying. Alright, the babies haven't grown up yet. I don't know how long that takes. Let's see. So, also think if we're, yeah, I think when we're ready to raid, we're just going to have to make some modifications to this because it'll be hard to push the golems off with the block of leaves in the way. It works better with the block, with slabs, so that they kind of step up onto it like stairs. So we'll probably end up needing to, to change a little bit of this design. <coughs> but that's all right. All right. Let's so we're kind of just wasting time, maybe, to let these babies grow up. Which means that I think what we could maybe do with some of this time is go fishing. We really need um, 
it would be so stellar to find a mending book. And I don't think, and none of our scholars are going to be selling mending books because none of them are from the junk or from the swamp. So I don't think we can expect to get a mending book from the trading hall. Which means fishing. Oops. Fish. So we'll do this for a little while. And uh, and see what we can find, what we can get. I feel like we're, we're right on the cusp of having our resources and uh, things that are available to us just take off. When we, get, um, when we get that steady flow of iron coming in, then we can turn right around and start not, not only like making ourselves iron gear, but we can uh, trade it to the villagers in the trading hall to start getting better equipment. Like it won't take too long before we can turn all of that iron that we're getting into trades that will give us diamond uh, gear. So the weaponsmith will sell us like diamond swords, and uh, the toolsmith will can sell us diamond tools like diamond pickaxe or axe or shovels, and then the armorer guy. Um, like we can end up buying diamond armor from them. So it'll be a little bit random to see what kind of armors or things we get, which is why I wanted to have a couple of each job uh, so that there's a chance that we can get what we're, what we're hoping for, which would be a diamond pickaxe for sure. And a diamond sword would be nice. The armor I don't care so much about. Um, I'm happy with whatever armor usually. Iron, chainmail, or diamond doesn't really matter to me too much. And yeah, we'll go from there. Let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, look. So we got a fishing pole. We got two fishing rods. This one's got lure, too. So, but it's almost broken. So, I don't want to start using it yet. If we could find... So once we get a lot of iron coming in, we can make an anvil, and then we can combine these fishing rods that we find uh, to stack all their enchantments into one fishing rod. And it's not too far-fetched to find a fishing rod with nothing on it. So let's see. We'll see. keep hearing the sheep eating grass and I think that it's for a, for a split second I think it's a a, a creeper starting to power up the fishing is also not a bad way to get some levels right when you are enchanting things you need to spend levels or if you're combining things on an anvil it costs levels to do that and but you can see, like, just just standing here chatting with you, uh, fishing, we've gone up a couple levels uh, right now. Right. 
it's really raining. I got a bowl, a bottle of water. If you get mending, what mending does is it, whenever you collect experience, instead some of the experience instead of going to your level goes to repair your equipment. And so also fishing, like if you've got mending on your armor, or your shield, then fishing will also repair all of that, the armor and the shield, anything with mending on it that you can have equipped. Level 22, and then check on the Voyager babies. Mm. All right, there we are, 22. So we'll put the fishing rod away. A lot of fish, but nothing really magical yet. When, if you've got a fishing rod that's got lure, that'll get you like stuff, like you'll catch stuff more often. But then there's, um, there are a few other enchantments you can get on a fishing rod, like uh, something about the sea, treasures of the sea or something like that. And that will make it so that the things that you fish are better. Like what you're getting from fishing is better. Uh, so as we get a nicer and nicer fishing rod, we'll get we'll start getting nicer and nicer things. All right, baby's grown up. Please don't be a nitwit. Ugh. So we just need one more villager. <laughs> so we can... Where did this guy go? He really needs to just... Why? I, it's so difficult. So, do we make another baby, or should I just go steal a villager from a, from a nearby village? It'd probably be faster to steal a villager. Boy, this guy's so insistent. Would you like a new spot? Not really. Where'd he go? He came over here. Yay, okay. Let's go, let's just go steal a villager. And flip and move him over here with a boat. Because this is taking forever. We are one villager short. Here's the sad remains of our snow golem that died in defense of whatever. Alright. 
da, 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 Let's go. It's dark, but we can find our way. Right? I think it's over here. We're looking for that block that's sort of floating in the air. And that's where we turn at. I mean, maybe I should have taken a nap really quick. Is that it right there? Yeah, there's the there's the block that's floating in the air that I was talking about right there. Okay. This is the first village that we found that had a good population. And where we got the first few villagers that we ended up using to you know, produce all the rest of the villagers. So this is, seems appropriate. We'll pull one more from here. There's some sand, but still not very much. All the sand has just been chunks. Full chunks. That's a pretty good chunk of sand, but still just a chunk. Ah, we got out of the storm. All right, is it further than I remember? This, this feels like a ways. There it is. See that skeleton? We're gonna take the boat with us. What is that? You hear that sound? Maybe it's, I think this village had an iron golem. Maybe it's the iron golem like beating up a skeleton or something. door is open. Maybe we'll just sleep through the night. Oh my gosh. Is my bird with me? <laughs> All right, buddy. You're the first person I see. Oh. In the boat you go. We're struggling to get off this path. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. That's annoying. Uh -huh. Come on. What? How did that happen? There we go. All right, where's my lead? There's my lead. Come along.
Yeah, that should be good. I don't need that seed in my hand. Okay. I don't know what you think you're linking up with, but we're out of here. All right, the last challenge is just going to be to get him up into the trading hall. For that, we'll probably just want to build like a dirt ramp or something and just drag him up there in the boat. Because he's going to want to link up with the bed and just... Yeah, getting figuring out which bed he links up with to use it as a lure. It's going to be such a hassle. It's funny that Bird remembered me and finally is on my shoulder. Is it still there? Yeah, it's still on me. You can hear him chirping a little bit every once in a while. this we get this guy in there I give him jobs and the golems should start spawning I think that's probably my other bird but I don't know if you can have or you know what maybe it's just a bathing bird because here's another bathing bird I didn't give two birds or three bird seeds, so maybe they're just curious. <coughs> All right, we're so close, I could taste it. I'm ready. There's our grove, our cherry trees. Telling us we're almost home. Pretty good luck over here, I feel like, getting them up. So we'll park it right here. Up we go. And then we just need a spot to put the water. the empty spot. I think it's let's go find it. I think it's on this side, right? Mm, yep, there it is. Alright, so we're gonna
Okay. And I don't have... I don't want to go find something less permanent than cobblestone, so we're just going to do cobblestone. him up. Maybe we can even shove the boat in in the little spot before we break it and let him out. That would be swell. Alright, we're here. Now, hmm. okay, cool. Okay, come along. Back in the boat. <laughs> we need a more straight on. <laughs> no. Oh, he's drowning. Oh my gosh. Don't die. He died. <laughs> Should have instead of putting all my all my hopes into this one effort, I should have made a baby and then what's dying now? You guys, make a baby. If I had had, yeah, if I'd had them make a baby, then it would have been grown up by now, probably. And if it was a, and if it wasn't a nitwit, then I'd have had a plan B. I think he falls off 
Oh my gosh. I think the bird falls off of me every time I take a, like, a, a fall from something a few blocks high. Ah, oh, jeez. Why is it upset at me? This isn't a great place to fight. back to my house and stand in the door maybe if I can make it there safely I don't know where I went that was weird I don't feel like I did anything to upset him at every turn it feels like I've been smacking it with wheat. I've been on the wrong one. Come on, you guys. Just do it. Really? Okay. Okay. can happen, then we will be good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there's not much not much to do until we can get this baby to grow up. Uh, 
Um, yeah. You guys get off the trap door there. What's that weird sound? Sounds like a... Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a bird. I'm not sure. I'm, what are you guys doing? There must be something under the ground here. I think the parrots can mimic sounds that they hear. And it's mimicking the hiss of like a spider or something. That's maybe annoying. I might not love having a bird. I do not understand what you guys are so intent on there, but okay. We just got a lot of ridiculousness going on here, huh? Do we still have a shovel? We still have a shovel. Yeah, I think I'm going to kill this bird. I'm just going to sit there hissing in my ear all the time. Okay, you guys. Bunch of weirdos. All right. What else is there to do right now? I mean, I can go back to fishing. Yeah, he falls off of my shoulder when I when I take too much of a drop for him to like. Looks like there's 13 cows in there. Not a great number. Since it, that means there's one cow that's not pairing up with anybody. But oh well. Back to fishing, I guess. With the change to how books work in the trading hall, it might be really hard to get mended. And so that's another reason why it's going to be good that we have all this sugar cane growing is because um, we can make books and you can make and we can make an enchantment table. Enchantment tables require a whole bunch of bookshelves built around it to make the enchantments more and more powerful. So that might be a way for us to get mending. Oh, you know what? I I pulled that one myself instead of letting the machine capture that one. I guess maybe we could start getting the job uh, blocks linked up. Mm. 
I'll get to 23 and then we'll go get the job blocks uh, linked up. Time or it's almost night time. Good night, world. Flesh, our boat, our boat away. Okay. Okay. Time to grab. All the jobs we decided on for the for them. Are you coming? Does he get left behind when I sprint? Nope. everybody. So let's first see about getting these guys in their, in their spots. Might be more of a chore than I care for it to be. All right. So what we got to do is we place the block and we see the gold green sparklies, but it didn't sparkle with anybody that we could see, so we're going to move it. Who's is it this guy? I'll break it. Yeah, I think it was him. guys want to go in here though that would be all right thank you all right he's an armorer so that seems like it's right all right where's our next armor gonna be oh look at this guy that's okay so we're gonna use this Kind of as bait. Come stand by your block. Now I'll shove you in here. All right, I'll take it. Get in there. Just get in, and I'll put your thing back down. He's like caught on this. Just go inside, please. I'm about ready to punch you. Ok. 
Come back. Okay, in. Oh my gosh. These guys and their little brains. Pick one, go in, stay. Alright, cool. Alright. How about this one? Nobody that we can see, so we'll go. You, sir. All right, who's the lucky guy that got this one? I don't see it. As a cartographer, he's not changing. Toolsmith, here we go. This is the guy. All right, no longer toolsmiths. I think it was this one. Yep. All right, let's see if hopefully this cartographer will link up with this one. Oh, dang you. Somebody else linked up with it? Where are you even from, man? Okay. We can get a fisherman barrel fisherman guy. Anybody want that? Nobody over here? There you are. I did a little hop thingy so it was facing up. I just like how it looked better that way. All right. Who's the next fisherman? That would be you. Fletcher's next. Hey, the cartographer took a new job. Good deal. Thank you, sir. coming up. Uh, let's find out where the cartographer is.
There you are. It's important that you put the, the job blocks next to them so that they can uh, refresh their trades. That's why we're spending all this time making sure that we get, um, get them set up right. this one. Smith. There's the weapon smith. Okay, we need to get this one out. We're just down to our last four job blocks. But I need to, I'm at the end of my recording length and we're so close to being done, I just wanna keep going. So this is gonna be an extended episode. So I'm gonna stop recording and then I'll start right back up.